see what's it been like to you know be in and out at the beginning of the year and now you really have a starting role that's kind of you know solidified at this point. I guess what's that journey been like after coming in from stretch four? Um, I'll say at first. Well, you hate to see a guy like Vinny go down. Um, I got hurt early on in fall camp. Kind of took my foot. Took me a little while, longer than I wanted to, to get back. And I feel like the coaches did a really good job um, saving me and trying to, you know, just not force me back as much. But now that I'm out there with the guys, I feel like the chemistry and everything is going good together. And I feel like, you know, we're one of those offense lines right now. The coach just talked about, you know, you guys leaving, maybe leaving some yards in the run game because you had a strain in the backside of the play. Or I guess what's the what's been the mentality or change in practice this week to, to start, you know, Absolutely. So on the back side of plays, you know, those are the plays you're not basically at the point of attack in a run play. So those are the plays where a guy could, you know, fall off late, you know, and we just been taking the pride and finishing and straining on that backside, making sure that lane stays free for Todd, you know, because he can hit it anywhere and he can make a play from anywhere. What's it been like working with Clay McGuire? Clay McGuire, man, he's an awesome coach, man. Great guy. I mean, I feel like he, he focuses on a lot of things outside of football making sure you're okay mentally and everything, you know, sort of like the dad kind of coach, you know, the kind of coach you always want, you know, around your family and friends, if they're coaching anybody. He's very smart, you know, he was under leech. He has a million different ways to block a lot of different things for guys from small to little. Anything you struggle with, he has a counter for it, and I feel like he does a really good job, you know, explaining to guys how they can improve their game. You see a little bit of like, you know, cross training at center, and now you got, Sheridan doing a good job over there, but you know what was that process trying to find positions in the spring and fall? Oh yeah, me being a shorter guy, so it's always been a center guard inside thing. So I've kind of been playing center all my life. So just learning the calls, being a center actually helps you learn the calls and makes everything easier at other positions on the offensive line. When you know everything, know who you're responsible for, know how to recognize blitzes and those things. Those will help the offensive line. How do you think Sheridan's done since a sophomore? Absolutely. Sheridan's done a phenomenal job, especially coming in with the new O-line coach in the middle of spring, getting those calls, getting all the adjustments Coach Clay wanted to make, and getting those things put on tape and figuring it out. He's doing a great job. He's getting better week by week, and I'm excited for him. I guess being an interior guy, how do you think Sterling has done since when he moved from tackle to guard? I think Sterling has done a, like I said, like I'm going to continue to harp on my guys. I think all of them have, have done a good job putting in a lot of different positions. A lot of guys playing next to each other who haven't. You know, Sterling, that was his actually his first time playing guard when y'all seen him start. So I feel like it's a, it's definitely a different game between the tackle and interior guys. But I feel like he's done a good job of adjusting. He's eager to learn. He's like a sponge. He's probably up in the film room right now. You know what I'm saying? So really excited for him as well. The big thing with Todd is kind of his patience, his patience before he kind of burst out there. As an offensive lineman, does that make your job easier, or are there times where you're like, okay, can I hit this hole because I'm trying to hold him off now? I feel like it's a give and take. You know, sometimes he hits it when I'm like, whoa, thank God he hit it right there. You know what I'm saying? Or sometimes you might get beat somewhere, and he might make you right. You know what I'm saying? He might make your block correct. So I feel like it's good, to, um, good timing thing. I feel like he does a really good job, man. Setting up linebackers, making our blocks easier, and he does a really good job. All our backs do. From the time that you got here back in January, I guess, just what's your experience been like here? Well, I, I was coming from Memphis. I feel like this is a more of a, like college town. It's more like the people are friendly. Like it's more of like you know. I feel like overall the football program, like the mentality, like the brand, and like. Just the little details we focus on around here. I enjoyed everything. The atmosphere on game day. Um, just our fans, the tortillas, like this stuff I've never seen before. You know, everything like that. I feel like everything has been good. I'm excited for the new indoor and all that stuff. Well, the new facilities and stuff like that. Being able to, you know, just see all that. You know, be able to come back and visit that one day. Anything else for DC guys? We good. Coach mentioned uh, this will be like the third game that you guys have all worked together, I mean, how, how do you feel you guys have progressed during that time and how helpful has it been to be one group? I feel like the more games you get together as an offensive line, the better it would be, me personally. I feel like um, now that we kind of got a groove and, you know, injuries are no longer a thing, we kind of got all our guys back and we, we kind of earning each other's trust, you know what I'm saying? Offensive line is about trust and about trusting the guy next to you and I feel like 
the more time you spend, the more walkthroughs, the more practices, the more meetings and stuff like that, the trust gets better. Baron's trusting us, Ty's trusting us, the coach trusting us, and then, you know, the team keeps going up. With all the games that you started before you got here, how did you handle not being with the first group during that time period when you were with the second unit? Absolutely. Um, I always try to encourage my guys. If any, they need anything, tips in the game, if I'm going to make sure I'm engaged in the game, give them the looks they need at practice, anything they need, because I want to see the team win at the end of the day. So it wasn't a difficult thing to first I'll, unit go out there and you're not with the first unit? I know. I feel like, man, um, what you get in, maybe I wasn't doing enough. I think that's what it was. I wasn't doing enough to be out there. So I just, you know, I pushed the needle to get myself back out there and, you know, I always just try to work like that instead of pound. What's, what was it also like uh, just, I guess, learning the complex, see play has a million different ways to block stuff. What was it mm -hmm. like as a new guy coming in, learning all the different details that you needed to know? Oh, yeah, over my college career, I had some uh, changes with offensive line um, coaches. And I feel like the main thing is just how they want different techniques um, performed on different blocks, like hand placement and feet, you know. And I feel like me and him, we share, you know, he got a good base in O-line, the, the type of branch that I came from, you know, my old coaches, my foundation. And so most of the drills and things he does, it's like the good technique and stuff that I was already familiar with. But, like, yeah, he does a really good job with stuff like that.